Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and an OXO omelet turning. Flip and fold spatula you can find on my Amazon link that's in the description under in the link tree. This is Chantilly Lace. And today I'm going to try and translate a new version of something I did yesterday, which I'm assuming I'm going to call a rainbow wave or a prismatic wave. I want enough Chantilly Lace to add a few other colors and keep the background light. So when I add a few colors over it, I won't have a problem. And I don't mind if I have a cool pattern showing through when I swipe with my spatula because that's pretty much what's going to happen. And Chantilly Lace is precious to me, but so is this process. I need to learn how to do this process. This is a little bit of frostbite. I have the good fortune of having some interferences, lots of them that are mixed up. So I'm going to use them because they're fluid and convenient, except for this one, which is evidently a little blocked up. This is green interference, which I don't use very often, which is probably why I have some. And we're not really going to see the color until it dries. This is violet interference. Same thing. And I've got, I just mixed up interference blue. And I will be mixing other colors with these. And that does not belong. I've had those fall in before. I don't like finding them when the paintings dry. So what other light colors do I have? I have sea glass, which is a primary element. I have a color I made up of purely pigments that was vivid aqua and sour apple. New. Purely pigments are new. I don't think it really matters at this stage where anything goes. I'm just going to try and cover the background and add paint on top of it. This is a Bling It Boreal. I don't use it very much. But I thought it might be interesting and I want to be very careful of that because it's darker than I anticipated. I have a sea monster because this wants to be an ocean feel. That's a little more blue-green than green. That's a pretty color. But I still want to keep with the light. I did mix up a new color from the new prison pores and it is macaw blue. And we're going to start with just a little bit of it to see how I like it. Put that interference away. I've got some Love You Pink. Somewhere in my house I have the, the remainder of a gallon of polycrylic from a long time ago and I would love to find it because I had a bottle that I separated out and I started using it recently as, um, as something to thin things because for whatever reason it's much thinner than vivid polypore and so my mixes are a little thicker than I'd like and adding water is not something that I recommend because it did not work for me very well. Every time I went to use a bottle and forgot to shake it. This is Periwinkle Vivid Intense. And I'm going to take the top off. And who knows what this is going to look like, but if I spread my colors around so I like them enough, I ought to be okay. I want it to start before I get... That's not helpful. That's not even going back on. I want to start before I get too in-depth. I have shiny taffeta. 
which I think will go great with the with the greens. Maybe not so much with the purple. I want some turquoise and I pulled out some mystique and I thought I pulled out something else but I'm not seeing it here. I do have a bally high which I believe is a prison pour. Yes it is. This is mystique. This is that's a prison that's a primary element. This is the bally high. Not sure I should have used that color. That boreal is tricky. So I've got one more color which is Payne's Gray with Diamonds and Pearls. And I believe it's a vivid intense. Sometimes I forget to mark my bottles appropriately. I'm going to go real easy with that. Or try. Because it's so dark. It looks like I failed again, to tell you the truth, at making my background light colored. I could put some gold in there. I'm contemplating some more Chantilly lace. Although this little bottle is plugged. No, nope, I got it open. No, that's too long. That's meant to make thinner lines. Did I leave any gold out? I've got red interference and I don't want to use that in here, but I do have interference gold and I might as well use it. If I was down to dregs and I didn't have much of it, I wouldn't sacrifice it. But since that's, that looks like a thing. Now the only thing I want in there that I haven't put in there is the Dancing Fuchsia, which is another purely pigments mixture. So we ought to see how that starts. I've got some Isadora also. Be helpful if I grabbed. I'm going to want some, some, what is it? It's Peacock. I probably want some Cerulean Blue and I'm definitely going to pull out. Oh good, my canvas is smaller today so I actually have room to rotate my, anyway. Um, Royal Sapphire. I should probably be willing to grab a scrape dish. So as my colors blend and I want to excavate the residual off my spatula before it mixes with everything that I'm about to cross over. There we go. Put that royal sapphire back. I'm going to start again. I don't really know how it's going to work very well, but I figure the only way that I'm ever going to find out is by doing it, so that's my plan. Just to do it. The only important thing to me is that I cover all the canvas so that I have a willing base coat and some interesting colors. And they're light. They're not as light as I should be. Sometime I'm just going to do all Chantilly lace. And most of these colors I'm taking off of here will be pretty usable. They look like watercolors to me. And what that's, that's interesting because I was a watercolorist. More or less. And if I get my canvas covered fast enough, maybe I can try some spirals. Glad I didn't put any more green in there. Although I really did want it to look like water. Pardon me while I'm... That's pretty cool. 
I might like it too much to want to do anything to it, but I think since I haven't got very much dancing fuchsia and I denied myself the pleasure, that might be... You know what? I forgot the one color I was supposed to put in there, but that's okay. Because maybe I put a little bit in. It's called Macaw, and I don't think I used any yet. didn't use my, very much of any frosted berry and I'm really inclined to see how that works right now. Over the top of things. Now I did paint the canvas. It is pre-primed with Artist Loft. No idea what I'm doing at all. That's why I'm doing it. The thing about the colors is if you don't want the mud, you have to use your strokes sparingly. Where's that color? I want the macaw. Nice if I got used to doing this. I never put any fandango in. That would be kind of cool. Now what I was saying about the canvas underneath is because it's pre-primed, the paint doesn't necessarily, it slides. It slides a lot better. I talked about the Fandango and now I wonder where it is because I remember it fell down yesterday and I don't see that I picked it up and put it anywhere I could find it. Oh well. I'm inclined to grab some of my Isadora. Actually what I've got handy is the shiny taffeta. What I want to use with it. Is some more of that dancing fuchsia. And in order to have pure colors, I'm going to have to wipe off my spatula. I like the little drag marks that the spatula leaves behind now that I just covered some. I kind of planned on using my silicone hair tool that I made little teeth on the front of across the flat edge. Alright, I really, really, really want that Fandango. And I've got other colors that are similar. So I guess I should grab them. Frog prints will work. It will if I can get the top to come off. And the plug out quickly. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so far so good. Now originally I did the one I did yesterday because I wanted to make it look like cloisonne and I had some black lines in mind to outline the spirals. But when push came to shove, I asked my 
people who were watching my Facebook page, Priscilla Batsell Dash Artist, and showed a, a sort of a bad rendering. I want some purple. Purple I want is bobbing for apples. The purple I'm not getting is bobbing for apples. Hang on. Let's come on. Open up. I'm kind of thinking water lily be a good op a good alternative also. Come on out. It's not coming out. Why is it not coming out? Because I didn't open it enough. Come on out. Evidently I have a plug. And if I want this out of here, I'm going to have to clean it out. And I have tweezers, which if you look on my Amazon link and you find the ones with the perfectly sharp points, they're the ones to get. Avoid the ones with the L shape. Come on, problem child. Now, I promised myself that I would try one of my little acetate tools. To see how it blends. And I suspected it would be a good thing, and I think I'm right. Which invites all sorts of other opportunities. This is that color I mixed. I think I'm going to go for it. And use the saffron I was talking about. I still have one more area up here I want to deal with. Well, that's 18 minutes. And when the timer goes off again, I'll have to stop and come back. I'm quiet because I'm focused. And I want this to work. And that's pretty cool. I want something else. I want the dancing fuchsia in here. And I think I'm going to indulge myself in a little bit of dangerous combination. Sour lemon with holly berry. Should have just been orange. And I'm thinking I might have to just be willing to wipe my tool off. If I don't get a hang of this pretty quick, which I seem to be doing okay so far, anyway. More macaw. Wow, that works so much better than I anticipated. I don't know what kept me back, held me back all this time. I want some more Bally High.
Okay, I'm back, and I got way more Valley High than I anticipated. I'm going to try and use it. Anyway. And I'm hoping this tool will continue to work without pulling paint up. And I'm thinking if I don't get moving, I'm going to lose my opportunity to work in this upper right hand corner. Okay, now I have to decide what my top wave is supposed to look like. And quickly. So I'm just going to go for the green. Because that seems like a good idea to me. As long as my tip is open. Let's make sure it's open. It wasn't. I got it out. I got the plug out. Yay! Good news is if I can get this tip on, I can probably finish this relatively soon. I'll just keep using all the colors. To a degree, anyway. That was the purely pigments. This is Mystique. I want some more Dancing Fuchsia. Definitely want some more Royal Sapphire, and I didn't use any of the Peacock yet. And I've got Dark Water too. Gosh, I hope this works. I hope the paint that's sitting there waiting for me to use it on my acetate tool doesn't plug up. Please work. A little nervous not having done this before. Except for yesterday, which isn't the same thing because I didn't use this tool yesterday. A little light pressure from my finger who will hopefully pick up some paint. Sort of like a brush. So I might as well get busy since I'm running out of time anyway. I'm loving the effect. So there is a video, and if I forget to include it underneath this one, on how to make the acetate tools, you can always ask me to make you some too. They take some time, but they're not complicated. I'm not sure about this over here. I really like that bobbing for apples and I'm super tempted.
kind of want to move that out. This is pretty cool. Fun experiment. See a bubble. I never did the thing that I said I was going to do, which was to use my little tool right now. I want to see how I like leaving a line in there. I mean, I could definitely try it. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. After all, it is a white painted background. And it's a lot easier than trying to put a black line in. And I'm pretty sure most of it's going to fill in anyway. Now I've got colors I wanted to use up. And I've got a spatula that's Oh, I see I left a line. Kind of like that. Don't mind using up the extra paint either. So far so good. I like that. There's four spirals. I kind of like another one. But I'm not sure where I, where I would put it. Let's just do five. if I can make that work. I'm still interested in playing with the, um, the toothy tool, but I kind of want some dancing fuchsia right here. And maybe a little tiny bit more. Of the sour lemon with holly berry in it. I think I wound up with something in my paint I don't want in there. Well, it looked like it anyway. I want purple. I want purple a couple places. That's the bobbing for apples. A little bit of blue, a little bit more frog prints, which could be substituted. You could definitely substitute Fandango for that. I like throwing the odd rogue color in there. See, my marks have almost filled in completely in most places. I'm making some funky, fugly colors down there. I think it's going to be okay. I 
to use them up. I need to pop that bubble. And I need to decide if I'm going to use my tool or not. And I'm going to try not to muck up a second spatula, Priscilla. Come on! Okay, so... That didn't work very well. I need to have a clear path. It's fun to find out, even if it's not as, it's not that, whoops, <laughs> time to wipe that off, I think. Right there is a good place. I do expect the lines to soften up, which is perfect. Gotta keep remembering to wipe it off. And who knows what it's gonna look like once it calms calms down a little. I kinda liked it better before. But I suspect I'll get over it. <sighs> Gotta try everything once. But it's not going to discourage me to, from trying to do the same thing again. Maybe without the marks next time. It was fun. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I really appreciate your being here. Thank you to all my Patreons, Patreon donators, my PayPal donators, and especially to the people who have done me the great service of joining my membership. If you would like to help support the production of videos and the purchase of art supplies, I could really use your help. So subscribe and contemplate coming, becoming a member. Now I could go back in and add, I like that solid, how that solid line looks. So I'm really tempted. This is kind of solid anyway. It's all, all going to dry a lot darker than it is right now. But yesterday I talked about adding lines afterwards and I definitely don't think I'm going to do that. But I'm not 100% yet so I can't promise. I do want to take that blob, lead it toward the center, and 
this little blue wave. embellish it. Now you could blow in them with straws to spread them out and make them look more organic. In this case I'm just gonna integrate them a little bit. I'm kind of being called to orange but I think it's mostly this sour lemon color I want green anywhere. I'm kind of inclined to, toward green. I did the... oh shoot. <laughs> right on camera too. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I won't tell if you don't tell. All set. So I'm thinking I, I want a little more green. right there. I used to do waves all the time when I was younger in all kinds of different mediums. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing with that little white space. I'm evidently filling it in. <laughs> not sure about that pink line. I've got two minutes, but I want to call it good. And thinking a little more dancing fuchsia right here and I will call it good. Kind of missed my target though. So let's see what I can do about that. some missing paint there on the edge. I don't think I heard anything. I'm really still interested. I like that I have some light color left right here in the background. There. I'm not really disliking the, um, the additional marks as much as I was worried about it for a while. They kind of seem to work. All right, it's time. It's time for me to shimmer at you. And I'm happy with my composition, with the exception of that. One mark. And I'm relying on that to fill in. Oh, I just filled in a little blue heart. I've got some stuff to clean up, but that was a blast. And I guess I'm getting more comfortable doing it, which is a good thing. So, please, please, please watch the video all the way through if you can possibly manage it. It's the one thing that the YouTube algorithm responds to to help my channel standing.